Today I'm going to be learning all about the famous Hokkaido scallops, also known as hotate in Japanese. And they're known for their sweetness, freshness, and meatiness. And they're actually eaten all across Japan, not only in Hokkaido. And they're really good. So today I'm going to be discovering where you can actually eat Hokkaido scallops in Tokyo. And recently I actually had a chance to go on location to Hokkaido in a place called Tokorocho in Kitami City with JBTV to learn how scallops are actually made and where they're grown and farmed and how they're actually sent out all across Japan. And it actually aired on NHK World, so you can actually see it in the link in the description down below. So if you're interested, make sure to check that out. But before we go, don't forget to subscribe for more incredible Japan adventures. Let's go! My first stop is this wonderful restaurant called Noan. It's really great because they have outdoor seating, which is very rare in Japan. And I'm here because I heard they have scallops from Hokkaido. So we can actually sit outside and grill them on the barbecue, which I think is gonna be really fun and I'm very excited. So let's go give it a try. My goodness, it is very hot out here today. I'm questioning my decision to do barbecue outside when it's like, what, 35 degrees Celsius outside in the middle of the day. This is probably something you do in the evening. But I'm gonna be doing something today um, that's known as the tebura de barbecue. Actually, so tebura is an interesting word in Japanese. It means that your hands are hanging, like bura bura means like hanging. So you don't need to bring anything, is when you would say tebura. Like you don't need to bring anything, your hands are empty. So this is the tebura de barbecue. I'm not bringing anything, but I can do barbecue. And I'm gonna get a really, I like drink because it's really hot. I might get the, uh, the lemonade, homemade lemonade. あの、手ぶらのバーベキューに付いてくるんですかはい。すごい。こちらのトルティーヤにこちらのサラダとこちらのプルドポークとピクルスを挟んでいただいてこちらのサワークリームオニオンもしくはガーリックバターをつけてお
such an unbeatable combination for grilling scallops. Honestly, I wouldn't have known that it was frozen. It really does taste similar to the ones that I ate in Hokkaido. I think the main difference is the seasoning, so it's hard to compare 100%, but it's meaty, it's sweet, it's delicious. You've got to give it a try. Okay, now it's time to try the tortillas. And you can put a little bit of greens and pulled pork and some seasoning of your choice. This looks really, really, really good. Mmm. That is so good. Oh my gosh, the pulled pork is so good. It's kind of sweet, savory. It's got a little bit of that like apple, hickory kind of smoky vibes, crunchy lettuce, tomatoes, and the sour cream goes perfectly with it. That was all really, really good. We still have more food to eat. We're gonna finish the rest of the stuff that we grilled up and let's go find some more Hokkaido hotate in Tokyo. See you guys there. I am now about to head to the two rooms bar and grill on the fifth floor of the Owl Building, which is in the Aoyama area right near Omote Sando Station. And it is a very, very fancy restaurant and bar. I've been there before, it was really glam, everything was exquisite. And I've heard that you can get a very high end hotate dinner here. So I'm gonna see what that's like, and we'll try some really fancy Hokkaido scallops. Let's go inside. こんにちは。美味しそうですね。じゃあぜひこちらにしたいと思います。かしこまりました。で、あのおすすめのお飲み物って何でしょうか。では、ホタテに合わせてトゥルムスとコラボレーションさせていただいているシャルドネでご用意させていただいております。
give for like an added meatiness and added texture. It just gives it a great bite. I'm gonna try it with some of the other toppings. Oh my goodness, that is so good. It's very citrusy. It's got kind of this wonderful lemony taste, but it's also a little bit salty. Mm, everything is so good. I love the change of flavors with each bite. Let's try the bacon dust with a little bit of avocado island. Mmm, what? That is so new. I can 100% say I've never had a scallop paired with this kind of flavoring before and it is really, really good. First of all, I love avocados, and this avocado, it's almost like a mousse. It's so light and fluffy. It tastes like a fluffy guacamole. And then the bacon dust, as the chef mentioned, it's just this like gentle dusting of umami. All right, now, since it's recommended to try scallops with the Chardonnay, I'm gonna take a bite of the scallops, and let's try the Two Rooms Collaboration Chardonnay. Mmm. Let's try with the Chardonnay. Cheers. Oh my goodness. It is so clear and fresh tasting. Almost, I feel like it almost has slightly reminiscent of a citrusy notes, which really complements the scallops. We still have one more place to try Hokkaido scallops in Tokyo. So I'm going to finish off my Chardonnay, my bread, maybe mix it all up a little bit, and then I'll see you guys at our next Hokkaido scallop location. See ya. Many of you may be surprised to know this, but forests are actually essential for providing nutrients and minerals to the sea to allow sea life to thrive. Years ago, the local fishermen realized this and they started planting forests. This is one of those very man-made forests, and it's supposedly now about five times the size of Tokyo Dome, which is a huge stadium in Tokyo, so that's really incredible. There is a sign here in the forest. It says, the forest is the sea's lover, and the river is the matchmaker. This is a really interesting sign, and what it means is that the forest is essential for the sea. That's why they're lovers, but the river is actually the matchmaker that brings the minerals and nutrients from the forest to the sea. And thanks to the minerals and the plankton, it allows the scallops to grow big and also really rich in nutrients. I'm really glad that we can discover the Hokkaido scallops here in Tokyo today, and we have one last stop where you can try a totally different style of scallops once again. And this time it's gonna be kind of izakaya style to wrap up the evening. So let's go head over there. My final stop of the day is right here at this cozy little sake bar called Sake Bar Le Père, located in Nakameguro. And it really looks like a wonderful little bar. So let's go inside and see how they prepare their Hokkaido scallops. Let's go. Hello. ありがとうございます。美味しそう。これが全部北海道のホタテですか？そうですね。北海道産のホタテを使ってます。え、あの北海道のホタテにした理由とかってあるんですか？あ、えっと北海道産のホタテはやっぱり肉厚で美味しい
I now have my Hokkaido Hotate dishes. And what I'm really excited about is we have carpaccio. And that means that they've actually frozen the fresh scallops in Hokkaido and they've shipped them to Tokyo and thawed them and then now you can eat them raw. Some of you might be thinking like, oh, I don't want frozen and thawed scallops. I just want them completely raw and fresh. But this is one of the best points about Hokkaido scallops is they have a really advanced freezing process. So now I'm going to try and see if it actually tastes exactly like the fresh, fresh ones that I ate in Hokkaido on the TV program. Itadakimasu! Mmm. Okay, I'm I'm having flashbacks of the port. Oh my goodness. I think it might taste the same. It's really tender. Since it's not cooked, it almost kind of like melts in your mouth a little bit. I don't think you'd ever know that these were frozen. Let's have it with a sip of beer. Mmm. Izakaya style. I love it. Now I'm gonna try this one. Deep fried scallops from Hokkaido. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Wow, that is really good. This is a great izakaya food. If you look at the ratio to the breading with the scallop, a lot of that is meaty scallop. This is all so good and I really feel like my trip has come full circle because I had a chance to learn all about the Hokkaido hotates in Hokkaido and see how they're made, see where they come from, talk to all the people who are involved in making them and now I get to come back to Tokyo and see where you can actually get those same Hokkaido scallops here in Tokyo. And if you guys want to see the full adventure, please do make sure to check me out on NHK World. The links are down below. And let me know in the comments down below, would you guys like to try Hokkaido scallops? And which restaurant stood out the most to you today in today's video? All right, I'll see you guys next time in another video. Cheers, guys.